did your low tire pressure symbol come on this week? And are you like me? Did you choose to ignore it because of this extreme cold? Well, some experts say going to fill up your tire in this weather might not be the best idea. Um, when it's really, really cold out, having a little bit lower pressure isn't necessarily a bad thing. It actually could be safer when it's this cold to have a bit of give in your tire of about 5 PSI. Really, really cold out, having a low tire will give you more traction and it's going to naturally cool because of the temperature of the ice on the road. But whether the road is bare or has packed snow, you most likely have felt those tires deflated or not, spinning out more. Councillor Knack has been getting the phone calls and decided to figure out why sand and chemicals aren't working. So you hit that point where you're below about minus 20 any one of those options, whether it's sand, salt, calcium chloride, they become ineffective. Councillor Knack says Edmonton's road experts told him sand on a frozen intersection gets pushed away after about 8 to 10 vehicles in this weather. Another weapon in the city's arsenal for making roads safer is the controversial chemical, calcium chloride. But crews have only used it twice this winter. Again, because it's just too cold to be effective. Long time that you saw sand on the roads and it maybe gave us the illusion of safety. But then if you think back to those years, every time you approach the intersection and stop, you still hit ice. Knack says the bottom line is not much works, except slowing down. And when it comes to tire pressure, you should still check them and make sure they're all equal. Tire that is low versus the rest of them, you could have stability issues with the car especially if you hit a piece patch of black ice. Now we asked Edmonton police to crunch the numbers of how many collisions we've seen since this extreme cold warning went into effect. And they say there have been over 2,700 since February 2nd. Not all of those weather related, but still, that's how many. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.